a few months ago a simple interview on this channel about peptides went i wouldn't call it viral but it got tens of thousands of views and my inbox was 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 flooded and my mind was blown because this video outperformed every one of my other videos by maybe 10x and it was interesting because it, it was a light bulb moment for me it was that people wanted to learn about this stuff and their their curiosity their desperation kind of mirrored my own and i realized at that moment that my curiosity my journey wasn't unique other people wanted to know so i, I spent my whole professional life 15 years as pt fixing people but i myself had a problem that I couldn't quite fix with a squat, stretch, functional movement. It was really the, the slow grinding decline of, of my own body. And this channel, Aging with Innovation, was kind of born out of that desire, out of that realization. So before I kind of dive into the, pro, uh, the protocol uh, that, I'm, that I'm starting in two weeks, uh, you need to know why this channel exists in the first place. And I had to do a lot of soul searching on this and get back to the roots. Why did I even start creating content in the first place for this channel? And so I had to do a discovery, like who is it for, right? And why is this more about, or why is it more than like a, a trending biohack? So I'll describe this for you. Here, here's what I came up with, right? You're that high capacity, high capability person. You've spent decades optimizing your career, your portfolio, your business, and you're probably very data-driven. You're likely a leader within your organization, within your family. But lately, maybe your most valuable asset, your, your body, is, is fighting back against you. And so maybe you feel that you know, the afternoon fog kind of shuts down your productivity a little bit. Uh, maybe your body is taking two or three days to recover from lifting session or a soccer match or whatever you're doing when it used to take zero or, or one, or, or maybe you've just put on um, some of the, that weight that comes with success of working long hours and it just sticks. And so the real crisis in all of this here in this conversation is you go and you, and you meet with your, your doctor, right? maybe an orthopedic surgeon, whoever it is. They, and your primary, they're probably gonna run some basic blood work and say, oh, you're fine, your labs are within normal, you're just getting older. And that phrase is an insult to your intellect. You know that you deserve better um, and better than just like managing decline and you refuse to really park your body on the couch and, and just watch time win. That's, that's not you. It's not me, I refuse to accept that. And so what's interesting is, you know, you're, you're willing to invest in proactive solutions, just like you'd invest in real estate and 401k, um, and what other, other financial vehicles you're using. And so this channel, this community, that's really what I'm about building here is for those who are taking that proactive approach to their health and longevity and the optimization of all of that as opposed to reactive, sick care model of medicine, which is largely what our healthcare system is. So we're fighting back against that for the people who fit under that description. So my story, uh, maybe a good example of this, I'm 38 right now, I'm a PT by background, and I should know better, but I tore my ACL about 18 years ago, this is 2006, and it left me with more of a, a ticking clock, post-surgical arthritis. And I mean, when I was young, I was like 18, 19 years old, when I had it done, none of that came across my mind. I just knew I needed to have it fixed so I can get back to playing sports, lifting, all the things that I wanted to do. The surgeon did tell me, you know, by the time you're 35, 40, 45, you're likely to need a knee replacement. I'm like, oh, when I, when I get there, I'll cross that bridge. But that was something that was so far off in the distance. But now, now that I'm here, I'm 38 years old, I'm starting to feel the effects of that arthritis in the knee that I had the surgery done. And so essentially it's become about managing pain, working through the corrective exercises, um, anti-inflammatory diet, all of those things. And so for me, hearing that I might need a knee replacement was, was a bit of a punch to the gut because that's, that's not a solution for me. That's, 
like surrender. Like being athletic, being an athlete is part of my identity. And I cannot accept the fact that um, the knee that, that helps me is others is, is slowly failing me. And so my career has, has taught me the limits of conventional methods. Right? Taught me the power of biological intervention too. And so I realized that if I was going to help people age with innovation, I had to live it first. And so that it's like this perpetual experiment and to figure out what's out there, learn about it, do the deep dive of research so that I can share with, with others. And so that's when I decided like the, the research is done. The time for deliberation is over and I'm actually taking the leap myself. And aging with innovation, the platform itself, it's not a supplement or diagnosis platform. I'm not here to diagnose anyone. It's really to serve as an educational instrument kind of sits in the gap. The gap between uh, what's possible in longevity science and what your doctor is, is telling you. So the mission is, is really twofold. Number one, it's to empower the health optimizer, that person I was already talking about, to really give access to the science, uh, the detailed blood work analysis, protocols for peptides, hormones, diagnostics, and make that responsible, accessible, actionable through my own personal journey, but just the education as well. And number two, that's to equip really the provider. So everything you're seeing on this channel, the, the growth, the engagement, I'm sharing everything that I'm learning across the way, across all of these domains to prove that this system works on ourselves and help others implement it too. So the protocol that uh, I'm going to be experimenting with, with myself here, uh, pretty common one in the peptide world, it's a BPC-157 and TB-500. Um, some people call it the, the Wolverine stack. And for me, it's, it's not reckless, it's, it's strategic. Because I have a, a functional medicine practitioner, a PA that's guiding me. Um, I've established a baseline of over 80 biomarkers. Um, I've had blood work done consistently looking at these things to see, okay, what, what should I actually do here? And for me, I'm gonna be tracking objective, measurable data points. And so it's an experiment with radical transparency. And so the 12 week roadmap, more or less, like what we're gonna see and the things that I'm gonna share as I go through this process on this platform here, among other things. Uh, so week zero, really, that's gonna be like the total baseline. Uh, just kind of look at, look at the data there. What is it telling me and, and why I decided to go this route uh, with experimenting with pepti peptides. Number two, uh, by the time I get everything, probably be about week two, right? The first injection. So immediate physical, emotional impact, what that looks like, actually doing uh, this injection, something I've never done before for myself. Uh, week six, I'm gonna kind of have a midweek checkpoint. Did the uh, needle move on my pain at all? Uh, did my range of motion improve? What, what has actually happened in this time frame? And then by the time we get to, to week 12, it'll be about a 12 week experiment, like the verdict, like was it worth the money? Was it worth the effort, the risk? Uh, more than just like a story though. And so I'm gonna share objectively what has transpired over that three month period, over the 12 weeks. And so more than that, I think this is really why I created the channel in the first place. It's to share really the educational library that I have built and am building. And so the science, the risk, the framework, the decision-making framework that I use, um, some of the safest access points, how to look at your own health data. And again, this is not to diagnose. This is not for me to tell you what you have wrong with you. This is just to share what I've learned so that you can analyze it for yourself and make, have better discussions with your practitioner. And again, I'm not here to, uh, to sell you on any specific peptide or anything like that. I'm here to educate you so you can make intelligent, proactive decisions because maybe this fails. I don't know. But if it works, it fundamentally changes the trajectory of my life and maybe yours, I don't know. We won't have to, I won't have to accept the decline and we can actually live truly to what the mission is here, which is to age with innovation. 
And so what I encourage you to do, one, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, turn on your notifications uh, for the updates as these episodes come out and, and drop a comment. Let me know like what sort of um, strategies are, are you using or have you been like, looking at, but maybe too nervous to try. And, and really finally, if you're you know, a business owner or a provider, kind of sees a demand for this, just, um, just stay tuned and check out what we're doing here and you know, provide you know, any input that you have, any questions, because I would love to see what we have in the comments and answer those. If I don't already have the research on it, go down that rabbit hole even further to provide that information that could be useful and applied to your life. So again, TJ here with Aging with Innovation, and I'll see you in the next one.